Ryo has left Bailu Village along with Torture Master Shenhua. We've arrived in the big city, Nawu, looking, well, not looking for thugs anymore. We have upgraded to looking for gangs. Moving up in the world, as far as the, the people that we're looking for. So here we are. Gotta look for Mr. Wan. Gotta look for Shenhua's father. I mean, that's why we came here. We've been looking for him the whole game. That's been kind of the whole thing. I suppose we could talk to children, though. Maybe they know where she, where Mr. Mr. Wan is. Can I talk to them? Maybe not. Doesn't seem like I can talk to them. No icons are coming up for talking. I guess these people don't really exist. No, I guess not. I guess not. Doesn't seem like we can talk to anyone. I guess all we can do is just, uh... Just walk forward. I guess we should... It's 7.30 at night. We probably need to find a hotel, find some place to stay. Hmm. Not what is this thing? It gets Rio's attention immediately. We have more important things to do, but, I mean... Look, we gotta focus on... What is this thing? Gotta cl collect chop cards, go to the pawn shop. What is this thing? If we find Chobuchan in shops, we will get a shop card. Ryo was fascinated by this. Did he write it down in his notebook? He did not. Clearly, it's the main thing he's interested in right now, though. All right, what do we got here? We got. Hey, lad! Catch any fish? Ah, uh, what I wouldn't give to just close up shop and go fishing today. Catch any fish? Are you looking at my jacket? Excuse me. Wait! Don't tell me. You're here to rent some tackle, right? You gotta fish while you're in Yowu. Actually, I just have a question. Got fish questions? Gear questions? Ask me anything. Thinking about those fish questions. Let's look, let's show the photo, I guess. Have you seen this person? Is he a fisherman? He's my father. Have you seen him? Uh, I don't recall seeing him at the shop or at the fishing spots for that matter. Okay, thanks. No, well, we could also ask about a hotel. Excuse me. Wait, you... Actually... Got fish. Do you know where Hotel Niawu is? Yeah, of course. It's along this road. It's a flashy building, so you'll recognize it right away. It's that way. Thanks. Flashy building? Can we afford to stay there? I don't know. Anyway, this store is called Super Tackle. Uh, maybe we'll find out just how super it is at some point. The size of the town surprised Shenhua. Did it? Did she mention that? I guess we just we just wrote that down for Why, some reason. Hello there. I've got a fresh catch with your name on it. Come and get it. Excuse me, I believe I can catch my own fish. Shen. Excuse me. Well, don't just stand there. Come in. Beef, pork, chicken. Niao's got it all. But between you and me, it's all about the fish. Everything's on sale. That's right, you heard me. You got your wish, so now get your fish. Actually, I just have a question. Do you know this person? What? You're not here to buy anything. You're breaking my heart, lad. That's my father. Have you seen him recently? Oh, so you've got a story, huh? Well, why didn't you say so? Let me take a look-see. Mm. Nope. nope. Look at me. that photo. Sorry, love. A good look at it. Okay. Thanks anyway. All right, let's... I don't have any other icons on him, so I guess I can't actually buy fish. Oh, well. Hold on, Shenhua. Yeah, I don't... 
can't ignore our priorities. I'll give it a try. Just because we're in a different town doesn't mean we should we can't try to get selected lures and tennis goods. Get a tennis good while we're here. You know, I've, I've mentioned it before, but really the capsule sets in Shenmue 3, not, not the most exciting for the most part. Not the most exciting. What's this? Surely they could have come up with something a bit more exciting than, te than tennis rackets. I don't know. What the, oh, what's this? Okay. Just mentioning the thing I just did. I kept hearing a cat meowing. Is there like a cat lying around or something? hear it, but I don't really see it. Anyway, what's million served? Welcome! You're looking at the only souvenir shop in Nyau Harbor. Hi there! How about a nice souvenir to remember Nyau by? Well, Alright, what do you got? Excuse me. Buy now while supplies last. We sell more than just souvenirs. So they got yellow wine. Chinese umbrella, folding fan, red, panda, bamboo panda, Chinese lantern, one-year-old plum liqueur, blue mask plate, and a phone card that can only be used once. Well, I have a permanent phone card, actually, so I don't need to buy one of those. Come by again. Let's just ask a question. Excuse me. Hi there. How about a nice souvenir to remember Nyau by? Actually, I just have a question. Have you seen this person? Who is this? Doesn't look like anyone from around here. So, you haven't seen him recently? Not that I recall. Okay. Thanks anyway. He might have been, I don't know, tied up, being dragged around by thugs. Probably something like that. Well, here's now flowers. Doesn't seem like anyone is manning the store. Oh, no, here's someone. Hello. Welcome. Let me know your budget, and I'll make the perfect bouquet or wreath for you. The promenade. So that's the name of this road. Excuse me. Hello, welcome. Looking for a gift for your girlfriend? Or perhaps your family? Just tell me your budget, and I'll put together the perfect bouquet or wreath for you. Actually, I'm here for something else. Have you seen this person? Who is this? He's my father. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. I get the impression that maybe most people are not going to have seen him. Let's see. Found the promenade. Can I buy anything? No, I'm not getting an icon for that. Here's fresh fruit. Hello! Welcome! We have the freshest fruit in all of Nyawu. Have a look and see what's best. Excuse me. Welcome. I've got the sweetest, juiciest fruit in town. All right. Got an apple. Got a coconut. Coconut is 60 HP. Got a mango. Got a lychee. That's HP plus 30. A lime. 
HP plus 30. Bananas plus 300. That seems pretty good. A peach. But well, Japan just has the power to banish evil. I mean, maybe, but... Hmm. What kind of food do I have right now? I have enough black garlic that I don't really need to buy more food right now. Alright, promenade. I guess I'm supposed to go there. Since we just looked at that. Well, there's like a lot of... A lot of places to look at. I love fresh oyster. What did he say? I can't read them. What about this? The sweet shop. Hi there. Care to cool off with some ice cream? Can I buy ice cream? No, doesn't look like it. Well, here's the hotel. This is where we were asking about. And it is like 9.30, so I suppose that we probably should go to bed. That's a forklift right there. That's just a forklift and a warehouse. Right over there. It's right next to the hotel. Here, and here's some... This is some lucky hit right here, isn't it? Yeah. This is some lucky hit. Over here... Some more lucky hit. I mean, the the imagery on the lucky hit boards is uh, much more uh, English. Can buy some, get some toys, I guess. Got a violin, a pot for winning these lucky hits. There's a what is that? Uh, I don't know what the what that is. Like some sort of shield. Another a vase, a shuriken. Is that what those are? A panda. Here we have... This is obviously some sort of gambling game that's going to be played on this stump. Not really looking for... Not really looking for to gamble right now. There's some grass. I wonder if there are any herbs to pick here in this... I just passed one. Hold on. There's still some, some herbs to pick. Oh, a different herb this time. So maybe the city has some different herbs than uh, than we saw in Bailu. But for right now, we were looking for the hotel. We found it, so we might as well get a room. It's getting late after all. I'll go check us in. You from the ferry? Yeah. Name? Hazuki. <laughs> You'll be in room 201. Your friend is next door in 202. Thank you. I'm renting two separate rooms? I can't afford that. Let's call it a day. Sure. Let's meet back here tomorrow morning. Got a notebook entry. Yep, that's the room we're in. Anything to look at around here? That look. Hey, you. Yes. If you want to use that international phone over there, you're gonna need a telephone card. I'll sell you one if you need to make a call. Uh huh. I do have a telephone card. All right. Yeah, this is a uh, Kickstarter backer reward. This telephone card. I guess it's the it's unlimited number of car of calls that can be made with this card. Then who will we call? Well, here's the phone numbers we can call. There's Guizang. There's Nozomi, all the way in Canada. Goro, I suppose he's still in Japan. 
Joy, not far away. I mean, she's in she's in Hong Kong. Fang Mei, also Hong Kong. Tom, somewhere in the U.S. In Asan, back home in uh, in Yokosuka. Fukusan, same place. So okay, we got some people that we could talk to. Uh, let's do them in order. Let's uh, see what have let's see how Guizang is doing. Is his leg healing up? Is it still crushed? Nine dragons. Mother Earth. My friend. We still doing this, Guizang? Number eight. You know who I am. Speak to Master Chen. May I ask who's calling? This is Dio Hazugi. One moment, please. Hazuki? Guizhong. Hey! I heard from my old man. What's going on? Huh? What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. Give me the details. What details? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, well, maybe let's talk about the uh, the yellow heads, because that was a, a thing that happened. Are you talking about the yellow heads? I heard that you made short work of them. Yeah, I defeated them. Really? But weren't they in control of Kowloon Walled City? That seems to have been the case. The Mad Angels are mere child's play compared to the yellow heads. And the likes of you beat them? Naturally. I didn't do it alone. I was with a few friends I made back in Hong Kong. Wow. These friends of yours must really be something else. They were at least trustworthy. Though, they couldn't hold a candle to you. What was that? There were so many times when I wondered what it would have been like if you'd come with me to Hong Kong. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I mean, of course you're serious. Are you blushing, Guizhong? No, not at all. How is your father doing? Same as ever. I see. I really owe him one. I wish I could thank him again in person. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll tell him next time I see him. Thanks. Call again sometime. It'd be great to catch up some more. Sure thing. Talk to you later. I like how has, as he was doing that, you, the only thing he was thinking of, remember all that fighting we did when we fought each other and then fought all those 70 guys and then fought some more? All, all that fighting we did. Good times. Good times. Let's make another call. All right. Nozomi, let's give her a call in Canada. See what she's up to. We didn't ask uh, Guizang if he was actually coming. He was supposed to be on his way, you know, once he hit, once he had healed up. But um, I guess he's still in Japan. Harasaki. Hazuki? That's you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What's up, Harasaki? I'm relieved. Relieved? I, yeah, I just had a bad dream. A bad dream? Yes, I saw you get swallowed into a giant black hole. I tried to go after you, but I was never able to catch up. Sounds like a very strange dream. So sorry, Hazuki. I didn't mean to bother you with that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't really believe that dreams are good or bad. I see. Still, I'm really glad that you called when you did. No problem. Can I ask you something, Hazuki? What is it? Do you ever have dreams? Well, yeah. I suppose so. What kinds of dreams? My dreams? Well... Um... Well, I mean... The, the last time we had a... We saw Ryo dream... Uh, he dreamed of... Landi murdering his father. 
so I, I guess we should probably say we dream we dreams of the father. I still see my father in my dreams. Oh no, I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you about this. No, it's okay. You sure? I don't mind that I'm able to see my father in my dreams. Hazuki. The dream I have most often is me training with him when I was young. I also have a dream where he's mad at me for pulling some kind of prank. I see. Seeing him in dreams is fine. Huh? But I wish he'd someday compliment me somehow. I see. Can you call me back later? Sure. I can do that. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right. Talk soon. There was a good deal more emotion in that conversation between them than basically any conversation that they had in Shenmue 1. So th at least there's that. Let's make another call. Alright, well, so Goro, last time we saw him in Shenmue 1, he was getting married to his girlfriend, I believe. Uh, so, what's happening with that? I hope he talks the same way. I hope they m try to match the voice. Goro. Oh, is that you, bro? Is everyone doing okay? Yes, sir. My Hisaka and myself are all doing great and working hard. I see. We sometimes talk about you. We're always wondering what you're up to. I see. Well, I'm doing well. Tell them for me. Will do. How is Yokosuka? Have I missed anything? Just as you left it. I keep a watchful eye on the harbor. Keep it safe. Can I count on you, Goro? Bro, I got this! Yoko Sky is my island! Ask me anything! Okay, then. Um, well, why don't we ask them about how, uh, how Dobuita's doing? We spent a lot of time there. How's Dobuita these days? Everyone doing well? Sure are. I've been helping out at a boxed lunch shop recently. I'm pretty much the face of Dobuita already. You're working at a boxed lunch shop? Do they sell anything with you there? Well, other than that, there's Yuriko from a flower shop called Smiley. Boy, is she nice. What was that? I just happened to see her walk past the front of the shop the other day. Goro. Oh, what's up, bro? Save the story you just told me for Mai. Whoa, no way! Come on, bro! Give me a break! She beat me silly! I'm kidding. I'll call again sometime. Sure! Call me anytime you want! I'm sure Mai would love to talk to you, too. Sounds good. Later, Goro. Later. Take care of yourself. The voice wasn't quite how, how it was in Shenmue 1. Like, at least he did... Oh, I guess that's enough. I guess that's all we can do for right now. I mean, at least he did, he did call us bro. So that's good. But the voice wasn't quite on, I don't, I don't think. Well, let's have some bed. Some bedtime. Bed hours. Bedman. The next day. Oh, Ryokus could have gotten woken up by his, uh, his watch the whole time. Never actually needed Shenhua to wake him up manually. All right. Ask around about the picture. Well, that's what we were doing the previous night. What do we got here? Five Americans. This is yeah. These are oh. There's a, there's Mark in the middle. Mark was our co-worker in Shenmue One, and of course we know there are five different kinds of Americans, and these are the five. Only five. There are no more than that. All Americans fit into those five categories. Is this supposed to be fun kung fu? 
fun? We like having fun. Looks like a warm welcome. That's some some big lips on that. It's a big kiss. I'll just take that, I, I guess. I guess we're taking it. What's in here? Don't need any of that for right now. I mean, Rio never needs to do his hair, even though you would think he probably would have to spend some time with it in the morning, put some product in it to get those spikes going, but uh doesn't seem like he does. Oh, I could have interacted with that. Hold on. Let's see if I can take that out. This is... Maybe not. It's just looking at it. There's our backpack. Good. It, was, it wasn't stolen. Good to see that our backpack was not stolen from us. I'm too close to the bed. I keep getting save prompts. What is this? Traveler's note. Oh, um... I, ge uh, I guess... Oh, these are, uh, I guess, probably Kickstarter notes, I guess. I do remember something about that uh, back some backers at a certain tier would be able to leave messages. It's probably what this is. It's probably what this is. You gotta put the backers somewhere in the game. What do we got here? Can I take it? Free apples. Free, I mean... I don't know how juicy these apples are. I don't know how good they are. But they're free apples. Did someone come in during the night to leave the apples in my room? Oh my word! Did you see that? I told you to pass on that room. Sorry, honey. I'll buy you anything you want, so don't be angry, okay? Did you say anything? Of course. Have I ever lied to you? What? Y you watch yourself. Who do you think you're looking at, boy? <sighs> what an odd encounter. Well, I guess we don't have to think about that. It's, it's loading something. Okay, just loading, loading the same place we were in? That's odd. We're already in here. Uh, anyway, uh, the couple from room 207 was complaining they appear to be nouveau riche. Ugh, new money. Well, I, I don't know why Rio is making that observation. It's not like Rio is from old money or anything. Can we tr look at their room? Doesn't seem like it. This new money doesn't know how to act. They have no class. Just want to see if I can interact with any of this. Doesn't seem like it. I can't interact with this. I think this was Shenwa's room. Yeah. She's in 202, they said. I don't think I can interact with any of the doors on the floor. Oh, well, there she is over there. Hey, you! Yes? You need to pay for your room tonight. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No. I do. Okay, it wasn't that much. Thank you. And of course, Rio does have experience of staying at a hotel without paying for it. But this time he has the money. He also has a phone card. 
we have a lot of time to spend here in Yawu. We can certainly spend some, some time making more calls, like to Joy. I mean, in game time, we would have seen her only pretty recently, but it couldn't have been that long ago. Hello? Joy? Yo. Yeah. When are you coming back to Hong Kong? Coming back? To Hong Kong? Don't tell me you never plan to visit again. No, that's not what I'm saying. You're just going to go home when you're done without returning the favor to those who helped you? You've got me all wrong. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. And what do you mean by returning the favor? Well, let's start with how good I treated you for one. Um, yes, you did. And I really appreciate that. Right? And you're going to do something nice for me now, aren't you? I can hardly wait. Uh, um, Joy. What? What are you going to do for me? W well... Um, how about I teach you some kung fu? I got it. I'll teach you a technique when I get back to Hong Kong. A technique? Are you nuts? It's a Hazuki technique that my father and I developed. We can start with a technique. Even an amateur can learn. Um... What's wrong? Not interested in martial arts? I think it might be useful for someone like you. Like, for when you go to places like Kowloon Walled City. I don't go to places like that. You'd have to go. What do you mean? Are you stupid? Jeez. I don't really know why you're mad. But I'm sorry. Don't apologize if you don't know. Anyway, I'll call again sometime. Yep, I won't get my hopes up. I'd be more worried if you did. Ugh, damn you, Dio. Well, whatever. Just don't get hurt. Okay, I'll be careful. I don't understand why she was mad. I mean, I offered her to teach her Kung Fu. I mean, what else could a girl want? Uh, well, next is Fang Mei, who was, um, she was the, uh, the, like, the teen girl who was with, uh, Zhao Yu, who was, uh, Ryo's master in Shenmue 2. I think the last interaction we had with her is that we told her that we reminded her, we, she reminded us of Tama, the cat we were caring for in Shenmue 1, and she didn't seem to like the comparison. girls talk? Neither of them would budge on which one of them came closest to winning. Closest to winning, huh? So what do you think, yo -san? What do I think? Yeah. Eileen and Izumi, which one of them was stronger? Um, good question. Well, I never actually fought them in Shenmue 2, so I can't actually answer that. We'll just say that Fang Mei is the strongest. Both Eileen and Izumi were certainly strong. They are, aren't they? But Fang Mei is the strongest of all. Wait, what? Me? Have you forgotten already? Man Moor Bistro? Oh yeah, I remember now. But all I did was fight with a frying pan. But that's all you needed. You had to be brave to fight them. You think I'm brave? Of course. Experience and practice are important. But they don't mean a thing without bravery. I... I see. It means so much to hear that from you, Hyo-san. <laughs> well, 
Well, I'm just repeating what my father told me. By the way, are Xu Ying and the others at the temple doing okay? Hey, yes, everyone's fine. They're all here working hard every day. I see. Say hi to Xu Ying for me. I will. You can count on me. Okay. I'll call again sometime. I can't wait. Take care of yourself. We'll be waiting for your safe return. Thanks. You too. Well, why can't we, can't we speak with Xu Ying directly? I mean, it seems like she would be relevant, someone relevant to talk to. Hmm. Before that call, I called her uh, Zhao Yu. That, that's not her name. I think that's a Tekken character. Well, next on the list is Tom Johnson. Is is he still selling hot dogs? Has he gone into a different line of work? It's time to find out. Hello? Tom. Oh, that voice! Is that you, Rio? Yeah. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man! Just great! How about you? No getting into any trouble, are you? No, not really. Well, maybe a little here and there. No, man, no! Oh, you're going to break Nozomi's heart! Why bring up Harasaki? Because I know what's up. She must be worried sick about you in Canada. You... you think so? Hey, man! You enjoying China? Um, well, it's not like I'm here to sightsee. I know that. You're there because of your father, right? Tom. But don't forget to always try to find the best in a situation. The best, huh? Brio, are you telling me you haven't had any fun on your trip? Um, good question. Uh, no, I have. I, uh, I have enjoyed doing a lot of training. I learned a lot of new martial arts techniques since coming to China. I have to admit that I've enjoyed that quite a bit. Chinese martial arts? And not just Chinese, either. I fought martial artists from Mongolia, Russia, and all over the world. Oh, man! That's great! I think I'm starting to improve a little. But it's not just about learning new techniques. I've learned something far more important. What's that? Fighting for friends and loved ones can make you feel strong. Yes, man! That's bravery talking. Bravery. Yeah, I think you're right. My father must have felt it when he fought to protect me. Rio. I'm going to go, but let's talk again sometime. That <laughs> sounds like a plan, man. I'll be waiting. Later, Tom. Goodbye, Rio. See you around. The voice was not exactly on, but it was close enough. It was pretty good. I should call it quits for today. That's too much phone calling. Can't waste all this time making phone calls. It's time. I should go. Just hang around all day making these phone calls? Can't do it. Good morning, Rio. Morning, Shenhua. We need to search for clues about your father and the others. Agreed. But I completely underestimated the size of Niawu. It's totally different from the port at Longwei, Shan. How are we supposed to find them in a big city like this? Let's split up and ask around. I guess that's a start. What choice do we have? Time to put on our detective hats. Agreed. Let me know if you find anything out. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. What? Hmm. Oh, 
I thought that was like I thought that was like gonna be the start of a music track or something, like a montage of of searching. But no, it was it was actual it was actual sound from the game from the environment. It's people. They're doing kung fu, which of course means it's gonna distract Ryo. He can't concentrate on anything else when kung fu is happening so close to him. Excuse me. Welcome to Ushan Hall. Have you come to train? What? There are fighters from all over China at this dojo. Here you can train with wooden dummies, spar or have matches against single or multiple opponents. Oh, thank God. How and when you train is up to you. I need some wooden dummies. Yes, anytime. Ushan Hall is seeking new students. Would you be interested in training with us? Absolutely. Excellent. Your name? Yo, Hazuki. Let me add your name to the nameplate rack in the back. Now then, Mr. Hazuki, you're welcome to train here anytime you wish. All right, got a, a second dojo to conquer. Um, it's spar. You've come to spar, eh? There just so happens to be someone waiting for a partner. This fighter is Red Wolf. Now that, give it your all. It's not what that says. All right, we're Red Wolf and or Dragon, whichever one you are. Let's do this. Mastered that. I don't have many moves left to master. I have this one, the ground kick. I'm not sure if I have another one after that. So I am going to have to get uh, get at least uh, one or two new moves pretty soon. Got all greats. Like a true Wushen warrior. Get that attack up. Attack and Kung Fu went up. Do you want to keep going? Come again. You're welcome here anytime. Look at all these people training. Can't, Ryo can't contain his excitement at seeing all this raw training happening in front of him. Okay, Red Wolf. So, I, I assume it's Red Wolf and not Dragon. I guess it's actually Red Wolf. Let me... Yeah, here we go. Nope, down here, down here. Hold on. Get over here. Alright, look at this. This is some rooster stance now. Looks like a chance to do rooster steps. Rooster steps. Maybe I'll give it a shot. So much training. If we don't improve our rooster steps, then how will we be able to do our our body check when the time comes? I mean, who knows if we'll ever actually do that move again. But we know that rooster steps is essential to doing it. It was like the last thing we had to do to, before he would teach us the body check. It is odd that Ryo just moves automatically with this particular one, and I'm I'm moving the line instead of him. It's not really how any of the other exercises work. Mm, 
build up that endurance. Should I keep going? No, not for right now. So though there still is plenty of rooster steps to go. We're only at rooster step one. But here's some horse. And we are well practitioned with some horse stance. Maybe I'll give it a shot. It's a good thing that we found this, because I could feel my thighs deteriorating from the lack of horse stance. I've got to keep it up every day to get those thick thighs. Mastered Horse Stance 5, on to Horse Stance 6. Right, continue to increase that endurance, increasing that Kung Fu. Should I keep going? No, that's enough for today. Enough for stance. But we have one more exercise we need to do over here. We need to do some of that one-inch punch. One-inch punch. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Now that we're actually doing a one-inch punch for real. Now that we've leveled up enough. Previously, when uh, we were training for the body check, Ryo did have to demonstrate his horse stance. Whoops. The sun. So far, we have not had to demonstrate our one-inch punch to anyone, but I wonder if that will come up at some point. Leveling up. Leveling up that endurance. Leveling up that kung fu. Level 20 kung fu. Maybe I'll practice some more. No, that's fine. That's okay. Maybe later. Maybe later. And of course, we do need to fight. Hold on, what's our health like? Oh, actually, I could have put my health up and get more experience from that. Forgot to do that, but that's fine. Let's do it now. Let's see how tough these wolves are at this dojo. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You can practice your kung fu on a wooden dummy or polish your techniques by sparring. You can also test your skills in a real match. What will you do? Give me the real match. Do you want to have a match? Feed me, feed me wolves. Okay, he said it right this time. Let's see how tough these wolves are. What is this, a joke? We want a real challenge. Well done. Allow me to hang your nameplate on the first Doan rack. This is only the beginning. It's a long way to the top, so keep climbing one step at a time. Well, let's go to the next step. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You can practice your con- You can- one. Do you want to- this time, your opponent will be Black Wolf. He 
He's not even wearing black, though. I don't think he quite gets the whole color coordination thing. Making excellent progress. You beat Black Wolf. That makes you second to one. Keep it up. Still waiting. Still waiting for a real challenge from these wolves. You can practice your kung fu. Came here to the big city expecting some real talent here. Test your skills in a real match. Rio needs to cut a Rio needs to cut a heel promo on the dojo. Just get in the middle of the fighting arena and start saying that. I heard here in Yahoo they knew how to fight, but clearly I heard wrong. Also, your sports teams lose all the time. That always gets them mad. I always like to try to go for the brawling uppercut. It's a bad idea, but You're on a roll. I do like to do it. You beat Blue Wolf. That makes you third to one. A most impressive victory. That's the spirit. All right, let us feed. Let us consume. Excuse me. Have you come to train? Yeah, I just saw you shove a whole lot of garlic and apples in your mouth, and I guess you're ready to go now. Your techniques by sparring. You can also test your skills in a real match. What will you do? Do you want to have a match? This time, I'll have you face White Wolf. He might be fast with his fists, but we'll see. White Wolf. That moves you up to fourth dawn. I have to admit, you have some impressive moves. I mean, it must be it must be kind of humiliating for him that this stranger just walks up me. and just starts beating everyone in the dojo. You can practice your kung fu on a you can what will you Do you want to have a match? Gold Wolf will be your opponent this time.
Unbelievable. You actually beat Gold Wolf. That makes you fifth to one. A true testament to your efforts. But there are even stronger opponents that await you. Well, show them to me. Give me those strong opponents. Though I am going to have to buy some more food pretty soon. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You can practice. You can. One. A fight, eh? Let's see. Red Dragon will be your opponent. No, oh, am, I, am I currently fight working up to dragons? So they do have both wolves and dragons in this dojo. you six to one. Set your sights even higher and keep climbing. Must keep climbing. Must keep eating food and climbing. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You can practice your... You can... One, one. So, you wish to fight? Black Dragon should be the perfect opponent. Oh. What's with this guy? He just ragdolled. I thought it might have had a a fatality that might have just happened there, but no, he's up. He's up. What's with this guy? Uh, just barely. What a magnificent fight. You beat Black Dragon, so you have been promoted in rank. Keep it up, warrior. I will. I would keep it up, but I do need to get some food. What does this say? Yep. Can practice at the dojo. All right. We're gonna have to stuff our face. Oh, there's an arcade right here, is there? Well, before we do that, I need to go get some food because I am out of it. Hello. Can I talk to you? No, it does not seem like it. I only have three bips of health left, so if I run, it's going to drain real fast. I've got to eat something. I know. Just we're starving. Can barely stay on our feet. What does can't forget if I got an icon? No, I did not get an icon to buy anything at the sweet shop. I would like to get a store that sells candy. It's not the case. What about you? No, nothing to buy there. I would have maybe have liked to buy some fresh oysters. I don't know. I can buy from you though. I know that. Excuse me. Welcome. I've got the sweetest, juiciest fruit in town. I wonder. I assume it's not a euphemism. Okay, so we were saying that the bananas bunch sell for 10 and are 300 HP. So let's buy a few of these. Thanks again. All right. Let's 
buy a few more of those. Oh, not that one. Yep. Need to get that icon. There we go. Excuse me. So maybe no more garlic for us. Maybe now it's maybe now it's bananas. Maybe now that's what it's all about. Rio just carrying bunches of bananas with him in his pockets, shoving them in his mouth. Maybe that's just what we're doing. There is forklift right there, so I assume that we are going to have to earn money. And I assume that's the way we're going to do it. But before we do that, my craving for fighting must be sated. It has not been sated yet. Have you come to train? You can... You can... One more... So, it is a fight you seek. You shall fight Blue Dragon. He's a rather strong opponent. Oh, it's just too powerful. I guess I've met my match for right now. It seems you lack the foundations of a fighter. Oh, come on now. Use the wooden dummy to work on your kung fu. I've beat like three quarters of your dojo. In other words, you need to train more. Like, look at I guess this is everyone behind me here. I've beaten most of them now. I've beaten the entire first row. So after blue, it looks like that there's two more after that. Maybe silver and gold dragons at the end there. And then probably him, I assume. I think it's out of line to say that I lack the foundations of a fighter, considering. Can I, like, go in the dojo and look around? It's a nice view anyway. But I guess there's nothing else to do out here. All right, now for the real important business, the arcade. Uh, well, that's probably not how that was supposed to go, but okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, hi. I hope this new machine's worth it. I at least need to make my money back. I know the feeling. We all need to make our money back. Okay, so Highway Star. We have played that before, of course. Uh, we got nice golf. How do you play nice golf? I'll give it a try. Okay, so I've got to get it in the hole. That was clearly not a good throw. But I do get more than one. Okay, so I can, I can like, move it around like that. Got to anticipate how long it'll take to roll it there. That was not it. So maybe when it's on the way closer, but not quite. This is similar to the bucket game. Just one more. No, that's fine. That's fine. I wasn't a fan of the bucket game either. It's just basically a high-tech version of the bucket game. 
All right, we got QTE title. We got Wacky Mole. Got a vending machine with a beer classic. Look, you want some? You want some beer? You want some classic beer? They got these vending machines with beer classic. Selling them in the arcades to the kids. I, no, I don't know. That doesn't seem quite appropriate, but all right. We got a prize. Today's challenge. I guess this. Maybe this is. Is this a, like a redemption thing? I can't seem to interact with it. We got video game, which is coming soon. It's not here yet, but it's almost here. And we got. I like, can't interact with this. Maybe I should play one. We got Chobuchan Fighter. There we go. Maybe. Man, Chobu Pai is taking it to me. Seems so. Right. Do you have another chance? Gotta have to learn the ways of Chobu Chan Fighter. Alright, there we go. I wonder if you can get a ring out in Chobuchan Fighter. I do like how the jumping is just as floaty as it is in Virtua Fighter. Just one more. No, that's fine. I guess it's just one fight. I'll come back later. Different uh, characters on the different screens, so I guess maybe you do fight different characters on these different machines. These are more coming soon. Uh, they have a lot of video games that they expect to be here that are not here yet. Here's more beer classic. Highway Star. Prize exchange up there. Take a look around. Got some lucky hit boards over there. What does this guy have? Um, What's he doing? So buy some tokens and you can play. Well, I have some tokens from the village. Maybe next time. Until next time. So I don't need to buy more right now. If I had tokens to exchange, what could I get? Here to exchange for prizes? You can trade in your tokens here. What could I exchange them for? We've got a great selection. Take your time and have a look. Okay, we got some fruit. Teacup, mug, ceramic pot. Lamp. Dress. Gonna be the next big thing. You cannot equip... Ryo cannot equip the dress. Why even buy it then? There's another dress. Cannot equip. Sunglasses. I don't know if Ryo can... I don't know if Ryo can equip that. I don't know if that's possible. Hanging scroll. Uh, scale. Got some teddy bears. Ammonite ornament. House plant. More plants, more plants, more plants. I mean, we pick the we picked those all the time. Silk gauze fabric, blue mask, black leather wallet, embossed bracelet, plum liqueur, Chinese teapot, peacock cushion, wine, high grade wine, red crystal, phone card. Uh, oh, t-shirts, Wuzang t-shirt, a Ren t-shirt, and a Rio t-shirt. I mean, it'd be kind of egotistical for Rio to be wearing a t-shirt of himself, but it exists. We got, uh, oh, a Rio and Shenhua t-shirt. Well, that's nice. And we got black and white. Black jeans. Coordinate with caution. Why do black jeans make it hard to stay stylish? Black goes with everything. I don't know what that means. I would like to get the black jeans, but I don't have enough tokens. Please come by again soon.
And there's some lucky hit over here. Let's just see if there's anything over here first. I'm sure Shenhua will appreciate that uh, we haven't really done anything to search for her father today. It's almost 5 o'clock. I uh, don't think I can go. It doesn't seem like I can go in here. All right, why don't we try some lucky hit? Why not? Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? What do you think of this bridge? Oh? Every time someone crosses, it squeaks and sways. It's like there aren't enough supports. Do you think so? Sorry, but uh, could, could you not make it shake? I'm bad with heights. Why did they put me up here? Every day is a nightmare. I'm begging you. Cross slowly so it doesn't shake, okay? I understand. That's that's rough. It's not a good. It's not a great job. Sir, I would like to play some lucky hit. Welcome. That's a big smile. I know that smile is fake because of you just explained that you are terrified to be here. Please choose a platform. And be careful not to shake the bridge, okay? All right, so two out of six, two out of seven, two out of seven. These are pretty similar, I mean, at least in how many spo winning spots there are, but the pins are different, pins are different. And that is the toughest of all. All right, let's give this one a go. How much will you bet? Oh, there we go. There it is. Fantastic! You won! Will you go again? Eh, sure. Let's try another. Please choose a platform. Lucky Hit is a harsh mistress, but sometimes she smiles upon you. How much will you bet? Remember when Ryo was running the lucky hit stand in Shenmutu? I mean, I, honestly, I don't think he was really suited for that job. Uh, uh, mm, uh, 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 almost, almost bounced back. finish like this I'll try one more but of course as we know lucky hit does giveth and lucky hit does taketh away okay how much will you bet Close, not close that time. I'm gonna get it more like inside this middle structure. Ah, uh, it went out, it went out to the right. Or oh, it come, it came back in. It come, okay, it came back in. You win. You'll go again, right? No, not for right now. Two out of three is fine. No. I'm the problem with lucky hit. Hope to see you again it's not, soon. you know, not a. Not the most efficient way to build up your tokens. Takes a while to play, and you lose a lot. But you know that. You've seen this.
Might as well... Whoops, not that one. Might as well try some more uh, these other Chobuchan fighter machines while we're here. Maybe I should play one. Maybe we should. Name. Hell. My battle of attrition, just barely victorious. Didn't work that time. Mm. Should have gone for the move again. Gone for that big punch. I'll keep going. Eh, not for right now. I'll pass. Well, this arcade will always be here for us to check out. It seems like everything else are things that we've already seen. Okay, it worked this time. Probably should see if I can talk with anyone down here. You know, because we will need to earn some money. I don't know if we can do it today, because it's six o'clock, but should probably see if Welcome to Nyawu. Can I help you with something? The option will be there. Guide around these parts? I'm your man if you've got any questions. I see. Thanks. If you have a moment, please take a look around the ferry terminal. Here, you can find information on everything Nyawu has to offer. Everything? Yes. We've got information on the city's incredibly exciting venture areas and prize exchanges. If you're looking for work, we have part-time jobs fishing and collecting herbs. Everything you could ever want to know, all in one place. Is that so? There's also a fortune teller up the street for when you're down on your luck. Seriously? Anyway. I hope you'll make the ferry terminal your first and last stop when you're stumped. Is it really incredibly exciting? I think you might be selling that a bit too much. Pardon me. Do you need help? I'm the tour guide for Nyawu, so I can help you find just about anything. Actually, I have a question. Have you seen this person? Is this someone you brought with you? Does anything in this picture look familiar to you? I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I see. All right. Well, I, at least we asked someone if they if they saw Shenhua's father. We asked someone today about it. We asked at least one person. The Ling, is that really you? Huh? What's your deal? It's me, Yo. I helped you do some heavy lifting back in Wan Chai. Wan Chai? Wait, do you know my brother? I'm De Ling's brother, Hong De Jing. De Ling's brother? Don't worry, everyone confused us as kids. We look identical. But we're pretty different if you look carefully, right? Round the eyes and such. I'm the handsome one, right? You might be right. Well, this is quite the meeting. Let me know if you have any trouble. I'll get you sorted out. Thank you. Now, Doolin continuing to come through for us, even here, now that we've met his brother. Let's see. I wonder how it, how he's doing. I mean, we could call him on the phone, probably. Doesn't seem like we had the option, but, I mean, we have an unlimited phone card. Pardon me. What you need? Have you seen this person? That's one fit-looking guy. He looks like he could do hard labor. If I see him, I'll tell him the harbor's hiring part-time cargo handlers. No, we're the ones looking for him. Oh, right. Sorry about that. We're just really short-handed here at the port lately. I'll, uh, keep that in mind. Hmm, short-handed, you say? You need someone to work at the port, you say? What kind of work is needed, would you say? Pardon me. 
I guess I can't ask him about it. Maybe try it. Okay. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow, earlier, and see if uh, and see if maybe he has some work we can talk about. Also, space harrier. Also, space harrier. Space Harrier not appearing in this game because, you know, it's not a Sega game. Sega owns Shenmue, but this is not a Sega game we're playing right now. Any photos of people in the town, I suppose? Information board. Golden Goose. Yet another venture area. Tobuchan. What is this thing? And where can I find it? Collect tokens to redeem a prime. Exchange your tokens here. Get anything so long as you have tokens. So there's like multiple places, I guess, that we can exchange tokens in. I'm surprised to find a pawn shop out here. Pawn shops will pay top your end for capsule set. Pawn shops will trade for stock, so I can trade for a skill book at pawn shops. Let's gather lots and lots of skill books. Good fortune. Guaranteed readings. Fortune telling, huh? Well, we might as well give that another try. Good at races. Usually on the mark. Like a seer of sorts? Does it really say usually on the mark? Do you, I mean, if you're a psychic and you're advertising, do you want to say usually? Probably just want to be a bit more uh, positive about that. Fishing to hit it big, eh? Chopping firewood, huh? Hmm. A job with a forklift? How about that? Find treasure with the herb map? It looks like niahu has got one, too. Now, the herb map, the herb maps really didn't help us. Too much in Bailu. Herbs and make some cash. Good money for your herbs. It's a flyer from the pharmacy. Fishing to hit it big. Fishing to hit it big. Fishing to hit it big. Chopping wood. Forklifts. Cannot ask about forklifts yet, but again, maybe we'll be able to come back tomorrow and ask. I do notice some vending machines over here. Can we? Yeah. We can do something here. Okay, we can buy some soda. Moderately sweet. Buy orange juice can. Contains less than 10% juice. Here's cola. Lime drink. Grapefruit juice. Carrot juice. And orange juice. Let's see, Cola had those plus 90. Grapefruit juice is plus 120. I guess I might as well buy grapefruit juice. Mm. Unfortunately, no animation of him drinking it. That's disappointing. It's just some beds up here. Or are these like communal beds? Hey, you want to take a nap? Head upstairs and use one of the beds. See if one's free. Oh, and what's this one here? Fire extinguisher friends. I'll give it a try. Just get something besides the two fire extinguishers we've been getting every time we tried this. That might be different. This is great. Let me take a look at that set. Yeah, that's a new one. We got we've been getting water fire extinguisher, wet chemical fire extinguisher. That's all we've been getting, but now we've gotten CO2. We still need foam fire extinguisher, dry powder fire extinguisher, dry powder fire extinguisher number two, and fire axe. A lot that we have not gotten. Oh. And green lure, that was new, okay. So we've gotten almost that entire set, we just need white lure. 
The 10 is set. Not making much progress about that. I keep getting white rackets. So we need one more for the lures. And we need, um, oh, there's a lot more sets now. And we need, there's so many more sets now. And we need one more for Shenmue 1. Looks like there's a different set of Shenmue that has now appeared. There's also chairs, uh, TV capsule toys, uh, cars, I understand that at least. Keys, musical instruments, uh, arcade machines, ninja weapons, more trucks, masks, animals, um, ceramics, gold statues, cera um, other Buddha, Buddha statues, another fishing set, dogs, fish and plates. Uh, got the we know the sports balls you've seen those they're the hats and tables really a capsule set of tables who wants that rings uh jet boats radios there's so many more capsule sets now who wants a capsule set of tables who would want that what did i write down all right i just i wrote down where i can get the capsule toys I guess nothing else to do up here, it seems. Well, at least we found a capsule machine where we can buy some fire extinguisher friends. And like I said, we'll come back tomorrow. Talk to Doolin's brother. See if we can do anything about some, uh... Maybe some part-time work here at the docks. See if there's anything we can interact with. This is where we started off with after we got off the boat. I don't think we talked to... Yeah, we didn't go here. Hey there! I've got freshly steamed buns here. Let me at those buns. I have a question for you. Oh? What could it be? Do you know this man? Should I? Does he look familiar? Hmm. Sorry, hon. I see. Give me that big pretzel. I want that big pretzel right there. Excuse me. Well, hello. I've got freshly steamed buns here. Piping hot. Okay, I can buy some rye bread, some pancake. Is that a pancake? I mean, it looks, it looks like a cake. It's a cake in a pan. Here's a bagel. Cho mm, chocolate donut. It's only a meager amount of frosting. This donut doesn't really taste like chocolate and is soggy with oil. Oh, Rio, critical of the quality of this donut. A muffin? Pound cake? One. Only one pound cake? Roll cake? One. Strong wheat flavor with a hint of sweetness. One is more than enough. And fried bread. Okay, so let's see. That's 120 HP, 180 HP, 120. Chocolate donut is 180, 240, 180. So muffin. I mean, there's re really the the cost and the HP. They all there's always kind of consistent, aren't they? So like four is 120, six is 180, four is 120, six is 180, eight is 240. So yeah, it's you're really just spending the same amount of money per HP. I don't think it really changes ever. Well, might as well buy some muffins. Thank you. Come again. What do you have? You got a cutscene, apparently. Excuse me. Ah, sir, the food is great and budget friendly. Actually. It's three pieces for three UN, but I'll do four for three, just for you. Sorry, but I just... You drive a hard bargain, okay? Five for three. That's not it. What? I wanted to ask you something. What, you're not here to buy? <sighs> if you're not buying, I ain't selling. 
Help a brother out. Five pieces for three you in. I can I can buy some meat. I'll buy some meat. I wrote something down in my notebook. Three I mean yeah, I'm I'm fine with buying meat. Hot tasty skewers. What's your pleasure? Beef or pork? All right, so got skewers three for ninety, five for one twenty, five for one twenty, four for ninety, 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 three for ninety. Really? Yeah, that's four for plus ninety. That's three for plus ninety. I guess like these sets are better then. Let's see. Well, anyway, this is a thinly chi thinly sliced chicken skewered and glazed with sauce. More chicken with sauce. More chicken with sauce. Okay, uh, this is set of three, set of four, set of five. Sure. All right, I bought something. Whichever you choose, you can't lose. They're both damn tasty. Can I ask you now? Pardon me. Yo, what's happening? Hot, tasty skewers. What's your pleasure, beef or pork? I need your help with something. Have you seen this person? Looking for someone in Yao. Good luck. Anyone come to mind? Hmm. He's not ringing any bells. Nope, haven't seen him. I see. Not sure why you got a cutscene. I mean, I bought the bought, buying the meat's fine. I'm just not sure why you got your own cutscene for that. Pardon me. Greetings. Have you seen this person? I wonder. It doesn't look familiar. Can't help you. Not someone I recognize. I see. Now well, let's take a look at what he's selling anyway. Greetings. I've got sweet, juicy fruit here. Care for some? All right. No, just that. Uh, just a fruit. You know, just some fruit. We've seen fruit before. Do come again. I mean, it looks like he's selling ex like skewers of fruit here, but. Pardon me. Need a drink, kiddo? I've got some ice-cold fruit juice I can mix into some tea for you. Real refreshing. Actually, I have a question. I thought you want a beer, huh? I've got some, but not for a young guy like you. Have you seen this person? Who's that? Does he look familiar? I don't recognize him. I see. Somehow I have a feeling that probably no one is going to recognize him. Oh, another cutscene, maybe? Yeah. Welcome, sir. Have a fresh cup of aromatic tea. You've got to try it here. Right. One taste of my tea, and you'll never want to drink anywhere else. It is quite tasty. Isn't it? Here's another. So much tea. Best after the third cup. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. Who, me? Yeah. You can ask me later. You need another cup. No, I'm fine. Now, why did she give me so much free tea? I think I'll head back to the hotel. I drank so much tea. Wouldn't even want to buy more tea. Well, it's nine o'clock. We, I mean, we we asked some people about the photo. We didn't just spend the whole day fighting at the dojo and playing arcade games and playing Lucky Hit. Not, not at all. We asked some people about that photo. Hey, Shenhua. Leo. Have you found out anything? No. Nothing new anyway. Ah, uh, okay. Have you? No, nothing big. Okay. Miao is quite large. 
And there are so many people. Well, you've never left Bailu before, have you? No. There are so many people. Surely someone has seen your father. Well, that audio quality suddenly changed there no. for that take. I'm going to go back to the room. Okay. Well, we have no clues about who to ask about this photo. So far, still nothing. We do know that we're going to have to talk about getting a job. And of course, we're going to have to continue to fight those, uh, those monks. For right now, let's make a call. Well, next on the list is good old Inesan. Let's call home. I assume Ryo has never called home ever since he left. Hello. This is Hazuki Dojo. Ine-san. Ryo-san. It's you, right? Yes. Are you doing okay, Ine-san? Yes, I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. Anything new at home? Yes, well, we've had guests lately, so it's been a bit lively around here. Guests? Yamagishi-san from Sakura Gaoka and Mishima-san's youngest Megumi. We even had a foreign visitor. Do you mind if I ask you about how they're doing? Sure. Go right ahead. Um, let me, tell me about the mysterious foreign visitor. A foreign visitor? Yes. Um, his name was... Tom already went back to America. He said he worked with you at the harbor. His name is Mark. Mark was at the house? Yes. He said you helped him a lot and that he wanted to come and thank you in person. Is that so? He also said he moved back home. I see. So Mark went home too. So should you. Huh? I don't mean to rush you, but I hope you'll also return home soon. Yeah. Okay, Ine-san. I'll call again sometime. Call you again. Do. I love hearing your voice. Take care of yourself, Ine-san. And say hello to Fukusan for me. Yes, of course. Please call again. I'll be waiting. Can't come home yet, Ine-san. I promise. Ha have to kill a man first. Then I can come home. Well, she didn't sound... I mean, she sounded all right, but she didn't sound as decrepit as she did in the first game. She sounded like she was in pretty good spirits. Like, you know, maybe she's having a good time uh, living at the house without uh, without Rio around. Maybe. She, sound, she sounded like she was in pretty good spirits, I think. And Mark seems like he's doing okay. Um, Rio said to say hello to Fukasan, but we can just say hello to him. We just we just call him. It's the same number. Hello, this is Hazuki Dojo. Fukusan. Oh, is that you, Ryo san? Something wrong, Fukusan? Oh, I'm sorry, real son. And just when you called from China. What is it? You seem kind of down. Something happened? Real son. Akimi dumped me. I... I see. I'm having a hard time getting over it. Fukusan. Hey, Fukusan. I don't know the whole story, but at times like these... Times like the like these, you know, uh, nothing helps quite like training kung fu. Training does the trick. 
Ryo-san. Free your thoughts and work up a sweat, and you'll feel much better for it. Training, huh? Yeah, you can do it right there at the dojo. Uh, I guess you still don't understand just how painful love can be. Oh? Uh, at times like these, I just want to lock myself in my room and stare into space. I... I see. Well, thanks for trying to cheer me up anyway. Um... But, Ryo-san, your time will come. My time? Will come? The time when I'm the one who will have to console you. Really? Well, thanks. I think. Fuksan, mind if I change the subject? Uh, okay. Sure. What is it? Is Ine-san there? Ine-san is out shopping at the moment. Okay. I'll call back later then. I see. All right then. Talk to you later, Fuksan. She left the house real quick. Ryo, of course, cannot understand the idea that training could not make things better because training is Ryo's only love. I mean, how could... Ryo's never going to break up with training, clearly. Well, there's some things that are beyond Ryo's understanding. How, how can it be that there are some things that training just doesn't make you feel better from? Ryo doesn't get it. But as for right now, I should call it quits for today. Yeah, probably time to go to bed. I wonder if we'll meet that wacky couple. Uh, it's not this way, I think. Yeah, 201. Oh, there she is. Father, I hope you're okay. Leo, I... I'm sure he's safe, Shenhua. I hope so. Shenhua, do you hear that cat? I was looking around and didn't see a cat. Ryo's kung fu ability is, is beyond me now. I didn't even see him move towards the bed. He moves faster than my eyes can keep up with. He, he truly is becoming powerful. We're going to save our game here. All right. Well, I guess that's probably. I guess we're going to say goodnight. Since Ryo is saying goodnight, it seems like probably a pretty good time. So, we spent our first day in Yawu. Um, just checking out the, the town. I feel like we've only seen, like, kind of a small part of it. I never even went down the promenade, I think. So, there's, like, a bunch... There's, like, areas that we need to go to. Yeah, it did tell us to go down the promenade. It pointed it out directly, and I never went there because I was looking at other things. Because, of course, I had, to, I had to fight at the dojo. I had to go to the arcade. I guess tomorrow, what we'll end up doing is I'll probably want to check. Well, I mean, we're going to do our normal morning routine. We'll do some one-inch punch. Do some horse stance. Do some rooster steps. Going to spar and then beat up some monks. And then we will go to the warehouse and see if we can get a part-time job driving a forklift. See how that goes. And then, you know, when, it's good, when we're good and ready and we're in the afternoon, well into the afternoon... We'll, uh, can, we'll walk down the promenade and see if anyone knows where Shenhua's father might be. And uh, that, is our, that is our start 
That is our beginning in the second half of Shenmue 3. Uh, or our overall goal of trying to find Shenmue's father has not changed. We just know he's somewhere in the city with with gangs. Once again, no more thugs, now entire gangs. What will happen when we encounter these gangs, I don't know. But, uh... I guess we'll continue on our, you know, meandering path in Shenmue 3. Maybe we'll get some story and some exposition when we find Shenmue's father. We haven't gotten much of it. So I don't expect we're going to get that much because it's really never been what Shenmue has been about. But maybe we might get a little bit of, ex of expositing when we find him. We'll find out. I'll, I'll say goodnight for now and uh, see you next time. For more of the for more of the Shenmue.